Hi guys, I'm here with Gemma. She's been a Sissy fan for, let's say, at least 20 years. She might be a little bit longer. Um, Gemma, I want to start off today by asking you uh, about the footy leaks and the FFP revelations. Are you at all concerned by them or are you not bothered? I'm not too concerned about them. Um, I think that, you know, City have good lawyers, they'll take care of stuff like that. I don't think it'll really affect our game, um, yeah. any, the way that we play. As long as we're playing okay, I'm not bothered, yeah. really. <laughs> we were, like a lot of fans, we're bothered about what goes on on the yeah, pitch. You know, definitely. We get our heads confused about what goes uh, Yeah, on, what happens yeah, behind doors doesn't, we don't really it's care. It's up to them to sort out. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, next thing, some people have said, let's remember it's Sunday, and they wish there were no football today. What's your views on, uh, on that? Um, life goes on. You know, it was 100 years ago, and as long as people remember that, um, you know, it's, it's, city. it's a way of celebrating, if you yeah. will, celebrating lives that, you know, cheering on the Blues and hoping for a big win, especially about today being Derby Day. Yeah. Um, so, let's get on to Derby Day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of Blues uh, are nervous. Very, some very nervous in the in the four or five days leading up to Derby Day. Yeah. What about you? I'm always nervous every Derby Day. Uh, a couple of years ago, I actually made myself sick. Oh dear. <laughs> um, but you yeah, know, it's always a nervous day for Blues. But I mean, we've got no. I'm not too worried. I think we're going to win today. So. Yeah. I mean, times have changed because you know, going back, say 20 years. Yeah. You know, 20, 30 years ago, we were regularly. Um, Embarrassed. Yeah. And Derby Day was uh, was frightening, uh, you know, for us because we kind of knew what was coming. We had that hope. But yeah. We knew what was probably coming, and now it's changed. Yeah. How does that make you feel? That like City are going in uh, as strong favourites. Yeah. Um. Sometimes being a City fan now, you have to pinch yourself and you yeah. sit there week in week out thinking, is this actually happening to us? But yeah, it's great being a blue right now. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you looking forward to see play for City today then? Um. Always David Silva. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not even a second thought, David Silva's the best player for us. Is he your favourite City player Definitely. all time? Yes. Yeah, I would have to say so. I just uh, I just love the way he plays. But anyone that knows me, I'll go on about Silva all the time. <laughs> <laughs> At Man City Fan TV, he's, our, I mean, Andy, he's Andy and myself, uh, and he's our, for both of us, our favourite all time yeah. City player. I mean, he's, he's class. Yeah, of course. Just, just the way he creates plays for people, it's just no effort for him. He's yeah. just brilliant. Best person to put a blue shirt on for just thinking about who might play for us today. I mean, who do you want to play up, uh, up front? Is it, is it has it got to be Aguero? Or do you give yeah. uh, Jesus a chance? I'll be honest with you. I'm not like a massive fan of Jesus. Um, I just think he needs a little bit more experience. Yeah. Uh, Aguero's got that experience, especially Derby Day experience. Um, so yeah, it's Aguero for me definitely. Yeah. And who do you want to play uh, alongside Aguero on the, on the two wings? Uh, Sterling yeah. definitely seems he's signed a new contract this week. Um, Kind of think. Is it a toss up between Sane and Mares? Yeah, I would, I would go for Sane over Mares, um, but maybe bring Mares on later on. Uh, but yeah, definitely Sane and um, Sterling. Yeah. yeah. Um, defence, the only other thing is who would you go for uh, centre back then? Stones. Yeah. I really like seeing Stones. Um, I like Stones after Mendy, but also yeah. Laporte's been doing really well. Um, having them on the out, yeah. left and right, um, Walker as well. Um, yes, anybody really. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, a prediction for the score today. Um, I think United will try the best. Um, I do think that they will score one against us, so I'm going for 3 1. 3 1 City. Fantastic. Yeah. Gemma, have a great day. Thank you. And I hope uh, we, we score the last three goals for you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, guys, I'm here with James today. He's a big City fan for about 25 years. <laughs> And he's come down from Aberdeen today for the game. I just want to ask you, James, just before we start talking about the derby, what you think about these footy leaks and FFP? Do they matter to you? Are you really bothered? I'm not really bothered. I'm not really bothered. Just let them get on with it. Yeah. You know? You're not bothered what goes on behind the scenes. You're more interested in what goes on the pitch. On the pitch. That's, that's why I could come down here to see okay. the football on the pitch. Okay, let's talk about the football on the pitch. So, uh, Derby Day, in years gone past, it's always been, a lot of City fans I know, all, they've always been nervous uh, coming to Derby Day. Is that something that affects you as well? Yes, I've been very nervous all week. I've, this is a gift, a birthday gift for my wife. And uh, I'm 60, by the way, uh, my birthday. And it's been really good that uh, my wife's given me this yeah. for my birthday. Oh, she's a lovely lady to, to give you a gift such as this. It's going to pan across. No, I don't know about that. 
keep us up on every in and no worries. Um, I mean, in years gone past, we've been underdogs. We've been underdogs oh, for many, oh, many yeah. years. And we've, we've taken some, some beatings. Oh, and yeah. now it feels like the shoe's a little bit on the other foot. Yeah. Although we haven't been winning all the derbies at home. But, I mean, how do you feel about this derby and the fact that City probably... Uh, they're definitely going in as favourites. Well, I think we're, we're two to five on in favourites. I think I think you score today. I think it could be about three nil. Yeah. In uh, City today. Yeah. Are you worried about? I mean, are you worried at all about today? I mean, United. I am worried. I am worried. Look what happened to the last day derby. We're two nil up. We're going to then. Yeah. We're going to be three two. So. But United have been pulling some results out. I mean, okay, you can say they they've been lucky. Um, yeah. But they've been in the games with like Juventus and other games yeah. that come back from behind. But you watch, you watch him, and it, a lot of my friends back home in Aberdeen, they, they are United fans, and you watch him in TV. United, they're not, they're not as good as they were. Yeah. Or for they were under Alec Ferguson. Yeah. And City, I mean, obviously you watch them from a lot from afar. Yeah. I mean, how have you seen this uh, season uh, going so far? Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Uh, I've, I've got, I'm confident we'll at least win two trophies this year. Yeah. 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 League title? Is that your number yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. League. A lot of a lot of City fans they're kinda of, okay, I like I like the Champions League. I love to win the Champions yeah. League. But speaking of City fans, they they're not really bothered. It's a league. We you want to win a league. Really league. Won a league. I think it's changing with some of the younger fans because yeah. they've grown up with the Champions League. Yeah. And we, all the fans, we have yeah, you know, yeah. been grown, we've grown up with the league and the FA Cup as yeah, the two yeah. main ones. Uh, so your prediction is 3-0? 3-0 um, City today. Who do you think is going to start? Just ask up front. Well, I hope Sterling. Yeah. Sterling Silver. Yeah. And I hope Aguero's playing today. I hope so too. Because, OK, uh, yeah, who's uh, scored a hat-trick in, uh, in midweek. But the... I still, I'm, I'm still not sure about this guy. Aguero's different class. Oh, he's different class. Absolutely he's, different class. He's got loads of goals against United. I think he's on uh, yeah. eight or nine goals oh, against United. So. He's brilliant. Absolutely superb. James, have a great day today. And a uh, big thank you to your wife. For well, thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like a young kid. <laughs> I'm like a young kid all week. Oh, you can I see love it. Smile. I'm so, so happy for you. Up the city or up the blues? Yeah. Up the blues. Up the blues.